went inside and then came back out. But yeah, not the most gorgeous day for Father's Day. At least it wasn't super hot. We were, you know, pretty warm. We were in the upper 80s to about 90 for highs. But again, kind of decent or manageable for most folks, I hope. Hope everyone did have a good Father's Day. We do have mostly quiet conditions aside from maybe a, a few stray showers this evening. Daily scattered rain stays in the forecast this week, and it does look like we'll have at least a few heavy storms Monday and Tuesday at least before our rain chances kind of go down a little bit toward the end of the week. Right now we certainly saw the clouds increasing through the day. Breaks of sunshine too though. Highs right now or temperatures right now in the middle 80s and feeling like lower 90s and our winds from the south southwest up to about 10 or 15 miles per hour. Current temperatures again in the 80s. Here are those winds gusting a pretty good bit up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour. So a little bit breezy. And as we look at our live radar scene, just the tiniest bit of light shower activity is here over coastal Mississippi. Little bit outside of the Baton Rouge area as well, but a lot of us are just not seeing a whole lot showing up on radar at this point. So this evening does look pretty quiet. There have been showers going on farther to the south of our coast, but we're just not seeing that really sneak in at this point. Far inland. Father's Day evening. Hope you uh, dads had a good day. Of course, here's me with my dad and my mom uh, having a good time over there in Slidell. I'm sure this evening temperatures right now are in the 80s and you'll expect maybe a couple of stray showers, but again, mostly quiet and heading into tonight. We're going to see our temperatures eventually get into the 70s for lows, middle to upper 70s mostly, and we'll keep a 20% chance for overnight rain. Moving into tomorrow on Monday, we will start off just with a 20 or 30% chance for a morning shower, but it's yet another day where a lot of us are probably going to see some form of rain, whether it's a shower or possibly a little heavier storm. Our temperatures tomorrow in the middle to upper 80s. And just to give you a heads up, tomorrow's flooding rain outlook is on the higher side. We have a slight risk of that uh, up from marginal risk or up from nothing like we have some days. So it does look like the storms that develop tomorrow will have the potential to bring some pretty heavy rain. As far as what the models are showing, the GFS has, you can see, up to one to three or so inches. This would take us all the way into Tuesday morning. Again, the Euro up to about a half inch to maybe one or two inches. That's just going to depend on where those storms are. You may miss out on the heavy rain completely and just get a little shower like today, or maybe you would get a heavier downpour depending on where these are. Let me show you our model though. It did a pretty good job picking up on a bit of rain here and there. It doesn't have all the rain to the south of the coast, but kind of diminishes things over land overnight tonight. And then this is tomorrow morning. Again, 20, 30% chance for a stray shower or two. We'll fast forward to tomorrow afternoon, and this model is keeping things kind of on the milder side as as far as the heavy rain, but again, just be prepared in case of a heavy downpour here or there and certainly be prepared just to have some rain in some form tomorrow during the day, maybe especially later toward the afternoon. This is tomorrow or Tuesday evening might get another flare up of a few showers and storms and then into Wednesday we will start off a little quieter and we will start to bring our rain chance down gradually through the week. Midweek will have a little front try to work in, but it will just sag near us and then kind of lift back north and it won't actually move in. Pretty rare to get a cold front this time of year to actually move in all the way far south. It just doesn't have the support to really get driven into our general area. So that will be something to see. Might just spark a few showers or storms on Wednesday and then by Thursday and Friday rain chances will go down a little bit. Tropical Depression Claudette is now out over almost into the Carolinas, bringing some heavy rain over that way. And again, last night you may have heard it did bring a few tornadoes across parts of Alabama. It's forecast to become, interestingly, a tropical storm to gain strength even over land as we move into tonight and early tomorrow and then stay a tropical storm for a while before it eventually uh, loses its tropical characteristics farther north in these cooler waters near parts of Canada. Our seven day forecast you can see pretty standard. Nothing else that we're really watching at the moment in the tropics. Uh, nothing expected to develop in the next five days at least. So a little break after we had that brush with Claudette. Our temperatures eventually will be going upward later this week as our rain chances go down a little bit. But you can see it's pretty much a summary sort of forecast. Tomorrow and Tuesday are highest chances this week. And then we'll keep a chance just for some spotty rain in the afternoons for Friday and next weekend.